Hi again, another day of prayers. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna be reading these, okay? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? That's right. Whom shall I fear if the Lord is my light? You know, He's up there and giving us all the lights in our lives. The Lord is the strength of my life and whom shall I be afraid? We all have our own interpretation, but for sure, it's totally saying that Bakit ako matatakot kung nandiyan ka naman, nandiyan ka Panginoon ko, di ba? Hindi ko kailangan matakot. Andito ka, binabantayan mo ko sa lahat ng, ng gagawin ko, bakit pa ako matatakot, di ba? So ito, ito ngayon. I'm gonna be reading, so inspiration, this is the inspiration. When you took, when you take a look who God is and realize how powerful and how amazing He is, you realize that there really isn't anything the enemy can do to bring you down. That's right. Pag, pag alam mo lang kung gaano ka lakas ang Panginoon, hindi ka matatakot. Wala kang ka, walang kabakaba. Kasi alam mo nakasandal ka sa kanya, parang pader ba. Instead na matutumba ka, pero may nakaharang naman pa there, paano ka pa matutumba, di ba? Parang ganun yun. So, God is the source of your salvation and your eternal security. Who or what can defeat that? Wala. Walang makakatalo dyan. Kung alam mo siya ang magliligtas sa'yo, di ba? Parang, Diyos ko, nakasandal ka na, nasa kutsyong ka na, parang parang ang sarap-sarap na ng buhay kung isipin mo kung intindihin mo ng husto itong sinasabi dito so it says absolutely no one and nothing can talaga wala walang ibang pwedeng katakutan kasi nandiyan ang Diyos God is the ultimate light of your life siya na talaga ang pinaka ilaw mo sa sa mundong ito wala nang iba kung di ba kung madilim nabubunggo ka pero kung nandyan ang Diyos iniilawang ka naman paano ka pa mabubunggo di ba ang galing ang galing kailangan ko itong intindihin kasi kailangan ko itong mga words na ito so gusto ko rin i-share sa inyo I needed to share this to all of you okay no form of darkness can prevail in the presence of God God it's just so beautifully said Take courage as you dwell on these facts. God is always with you. God is always with you. Tandaan nyo yan. Nandyan palagi sa yan. Walang ibang makakatalo dyan. Nandyan sa puso mo. Nandyan nakabantay sa'yo. Alam ko iba hindi naniniwala. Pero kung naniniwala ka, totoo yan. Amen. So there's a prayer here that says something. Dear God, when I reflect on your power and on your mightiness, you know, confidence rises within me. Nandito ang katatagan ko sa buhay. In confidence ko nandito sa puso ko. So, that's what it is. So, challenges and stressful situations may try to bring me down. But I take courage as I dwell on the fact that since you are for me, Nothing can ever stand against me and prevail. Thank you for this boldness, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen to all. Wala na. Ipagkatiwala niyo lang. Um, sa Diyos, lahat. Lahat na pangyayari sa buhay mo. Madapa kayo. Pagkatiwala mo, Diyos ko. Sana mawala na itong sakit na to. You know, anything, anything. Just trust in the Lord. Alam ko, papatubayan tayo. Hindi niya tayo pababayaan. Lahat dito sa mundo, you know, may mga trials and everything. Pero, huwag natin sisihin ang Panginoon. You know, we have to do it ourselves too. We have to help ourselves. Kailangan tulungan natin. Alam mo, sa araw-araw na ginagawa ko to, na natutuwa na ako. Na nalalaman ko na ang kahalagahan ng Panginoon. Alam, alam ko ang halaga niya. Pero, unti-unti araw-araw, dahil sa mga sinasabi ko ito, unti-unti araw-araw, napapatunay ako kung gano'n siya ka. Hindi pa ako perfecto. I mean, hindi ako perfecto. Marami akong pasalanan sa Diyos. Pero, gumagaan ng loob ko pag ako nagdadasal. 
Okay, from now on, guys, I I, I want to say, bless you all. I'm going to do this every day. I wanted to do this. I love you all and God bless. May you have the God's blessing today and be happy today. Bye.